Here we go. Game 1, Western Conference Finals. Trailblazers versus Lakers, the defending champions. Just want to take this opportunity to thank those that have been uh, following us pretty regularly. Uh, That being said, uh, we really appreciate your feedback and we urge you to keep that up. It's uh, something that keeps us motivated, that's for sure. On to the game. Uh, Should be a really interesting matchup overall. Anyone that plays online has uh, more than likely seen all the Lakers and Cavs users. These are some of the best teams to use overall, at least in general uh, opinion. Here I get an early tip slam. Usually a good sign for things to come. But yeah, like I said, should be a good matchup. You know, going against the defending champions, Kobe Bryant is unstoppable. Uh, most of the time I play him, so let's see if we can, you know, bottle him up this game and hopefully get the easy W on our home court. And, you know, a little early defense at the rim never hurt anybody. <laughs> and a little more for that matter. The nice thing about blocks, uh, you know, obviously steals help you get out in the transition, but, you know, blocks are highly underrated when it comes to the transition game. Uh, They tend to catch the offense off guard. They don't expect the block. And uh, if the defense reacts and gets that block and gets moving down the court quickly, you can get some easy transition buckets. And you can see I'm looking out for my partner in crime as usual, Marcus Aldridge. And Kobe thinks he's backing down Jason Terry, but he forgets about the 7'5 mammoth behind him. The Lakers leave me wide open, so I try it. And what do you know? My first three-pointer. Let's look at that again from two different angles. Campaign with his 25 three-point rating drains it from the corner. I'm going to be honest. I probably looked at this for a good five minutes when it happened. You know, first three-pointer ever. Got to love it. In the Western Conference Finals, let alone, uh, you know, just a simple three. That was pretty sick. And they're guarding me on the uh, three-point line now. And, no. Pagasol gets uh, hosed by my passing ability because I pass it down low for the easy bucket as usual. Get the nice assist. Kobe's trying to work that new improved post game, but uh, he still doesn't realize campaign's going to you know, stop that from happening. And uh, you know, He's a little bit off, but shots like that will help him get right. Let's take another look at that. Gets off the front rim, goes up. Touches the top of the backboard and bounces in. That was what I would have expected my first three would have been like, but you know, Kobe will take it any way he can. And I go for the buzzer beater, but I miss. We still got a huge lead, which is nice for you know playing the Lakers uh, this early. That kind of a lead will definitely set the tone for the series and hopefully uh, get us this early win as well. <laughs> Fake out by him thinking, you know, he thinks I'm backing up, but I, I back up just for a second and go for the shot block after that and get the easy shot block and, you know, definitely racking up the early shot blocks and that's nice, you know, slowing the Lakers offense down, holding them to 11 points still with six minutes to go in the second quarter. And Bryant goes for the uh, mid-range jumper where he's usually lethal and I wasn't really expecting uh, the miss and unfortunately... Andrew Bynum was, and he flushed it over my head, and you know, that that happens at least once a game, unfortunately. It only took one quarter, but the Lakers have finally figured out they need to double team me. If that's the case, I'm going to have to start looking for my teammates, and in this case, it happens to be Al Harrington who hits the easy shot, and here I got a double team on me, and I got tied up for the loose ball and get the jump ball there, and of course I'm going to win that, but you know, we got to short shot clock here and Andrew Bynum is still aware of that last three I hit and so he jumps on the pump fake I dunk on Ron Artest what's up Ron Artest I'm sure you didn't like that and I'm pretty sure Andrew Bynum didn't like that either I'm just a beast down low so far and we get the nice transition I thought Brandon Roy was gonna hit that circus shot but he misses it's still all right though we continue to play hard and work that glass and the second chance here leads to a third chance me getting a nice tip in uh, definitely extending that lead. It's huge at this time. The Lakers got to call timeout as they do quite frequently throughout this game. And once again, I'm blocking and rejecting that Lakers front court. They have no idea how they're getting into that pain and how they're going to get that ball up to that rim. They keep forgetting this is Campaign's house, and Paul Gasol is just infuriated at this point. You know, can't do anything against me. They continue to double team me. Somebody's going to be wide open, and in this case, it's Campaign. I'm going to have to take another look at that because that was an alley oop over. Kobe Bryant and Pogasol. Very nice, very nice. I'll take that any day. Second quarter's winding down now, and we take the late shot. We miss, but, you know, 
solid first half. There's no question about that. I think we're up uh, 18 at this point. And uh, I've had a great first half myself. I've got a ton of shot blocks, that's for sure. You can check that out here in a second. You know, I'm beginning to think I might be on track for a record here if I keep this shot blocking up and, you know, come out strong in the third quarter, and I might get that. Um, and Kobe Bryant thinks he has an easy dunk here. He keeps forgetting this is Campaign's house, as the rest of the Lakers have all game. And, you know, why not go for the sick oop, which I do, and I miss, but, you know, never give up on a play here, and I get the rebound, and I do what I do when I flush that ball. Here the Lakers overplay the pick and roll, and I take another easy shot here and just get the nice and easy dunk over everybody, and I'll take those as usual. Uh, and, you know, got to start looking out for those teammates because I'm getting the double team still, and in this case it happens to be LaMarcus Aldridge off of my nice uh, bounce pass to the paint, and Kobe is just at a loss for uh, words in terms of what he needs to do here, and that's kind of been the story of the NBA so far this season, and that's kind of why Campaign won the MVP in plays like that, that's for sure. I gotta take another look at that one. That's over Derek Fisher, and I think that's four starters for the Lakers I've dunked on at this point. You know, I'm not keeping track. Well, maybe I am. You know. <laughs> but yeah, gotta keep doing what I do and getting that rebound. I mean, that should be expected at this point from campaign. Unfortunately, everybody knows you can only contain Kobe Bryant for so long. He gets the sweet flush and one over my head, and, you know, that'll happen. And, uh, you know, got to look out for those teammates and got another double team and Kyle Lowry gets an easy pass for the layup for me. And Kobe Bryant's given his best efforts to uh, cut the lead a little bit before the quarter ends. And with that, he misses and we go to the fourth quarter with a very sizable lead. The Lakers are still unaware of my passing abilities out of those double teams and that's why I definitely love having 99 ball security because, you know, I rarely get stripped and I'm able to make some very difficult passes um, out of double teams and get the easy easy buckets. And in this case, LaMarcus Aldridge plays some rare uh, good defense on Paul Gasol and we get the easy rebound. And, you know, I think we have an easy bucket here, but we, uh, we go for a risky pass and Kobe Bryant, he'll uh, end up sniffing this one out, I believe. Yeah, he does. And, you know, he's on the, we're on the break here, and I'm, I'm being a little bit too aggressive because I want to I want to put this game away. And Kobe Bryant makes sure he, that I know I messed up and throws on the nice reverse jam, and definitely going to have to look at that one again. And At this point, the announcers have just recently said I had a triple-double and kind of not sure if it was of the uh, rebound or assist variety, so I just keep going for those rebounds and assists, uh, hoping I can get that quadruple-double. I know it's not... Uh, you know, necessary to get a quadruple double, but it would be kind of sick to get one in my first uh, really meaningful game here in the Western Conference Finals. And uh, Marcus Aldridge feeds me the ball right back after I give him the easy shot in the corner. And, you know, I'm going to flush that. And I checked my objectives and I was missing one jump shot, so why not get that in the post? And I get a sweet, silky jump shot to, uh, you know, pad this lead and make sure everybody knows we're, we're going to dominate this game. And now the game's pretty much over and I'm just going to dribble this clock out. We've obviously played very well. Um, I believe I hit a quadruple double according to the announcers, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to use this opportunity to uh, see what the interest level is in the video game Final Fantasy 13. I know most of you are NBA 2K10 fans, but uh, that does come out tomorrow and I've had a couple people ask about it. I might go pick it up if there, the interest is there. I'm not sure how I would uh, do commentary or if I even would. Uh, I'm not even sure what I'll do if I capture the game. Uh, I'll let you know if we do end up getting it, but uh, definitely let me know what you, your feelings are on that. Uh, it's <laughs> Nowhere near the same kind of game this is, so yeah. For those curious, uh, Final Fantasy XIII would definitely not take over my full attention. I'd continue to do 2K10 videos and maybe even get a Modern Warfare 2 video out here at, at some point. But yeah, as you can see, Kobe didn't show up. Uh, that's not going to get it done against my uh, Trailblazers. I had a pretty nice quadruple double, if you ask, uh, if you ask me. And so yeah, definitely looking forward to that feedback. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, leave us your responses, please.